and welcome to Active Bryant Systems. I'm Scott Bryant, and this video is all about the Charles Parlequin method of body, German body comp training. And I found it to be really, really good. Uh, quite challenging, but now my weights are getting lighter and lighter at home, so I have to go back to the gym. Uh, but doing five exercises of uh, 10 sets. So 10 sets, five exercises, and uh, getting thicker and fuller and denser muscle. And then with that, I've been using high amounts of uh, BCAAs, high amounts of uh, glutamine, high amounts of vitamin D, uh, high amounts of vitamin C as well. So Charles Parlequin was really at the forefront of the industry, in my opinion, when it comes to getting Olympic athletes to uh, Olympic gold status. And I think he got over 400 athletes to the Olympics using his way of uh, getting the hormones higher, getting the body stronger, and getting the body to lose body fat. And he stated that you really need to be 10% body fat if you're a man, 13% body fat if you're a woman, if you want to be in really peak condition. And this is what I'm trying to get to at age 50. I'm really loving it. And he recommended some books on a couple of videos that I've watched, which one of them was uh, Grow Grow Younger with HDH, How to Reduce Body Fat and How to Increase Your Growth Hormone. Well, let's have a drink. And the thing is with growth hormone is that from 16 to 20, it's super high. Then from 20 to 60, it starts to really lower. And in a man, it will be, when you reach 50 to 60, it will be so low that you to try and get change in the body will be quite difficult. But the great thing is about the book, it gives you the natural alternative, as well as the drug alternative in which to keep your growth hormone high. Then recommending diet and exercise and that as well. So I've started on the program of doing the growth hormone, but that started uh, <laughs> this week. So it's too early to tell whether things have gone up or gone down. But doing the branch chain amino acids, doing the vitamin C and doing vitamin D has really, really helped enhance me getting stronger and improving much, much more. Now all my weights are getting lighter and lighter indoors, which is great. And I just feel really good in myself. Whereas before, uh, I used to do five exercises and I used to do a push pattern or a pull pattern individual days. But I think the volume training, because I've changed it, you know, changed my workout, has really, really enhanced my physique. So I'm probably going to do it for one more month and then I'll change the rep sets, loads and tempos. Because Charles says that if you've been an elite athlete or been working out for many, many years, you need to change your program every two weeks. So I'm going to try that once I reach the end of the eight weeks, just to see how much the body adapts and changes again. Uh, but my legs are thicker and fuller. My arms are thicker and fuller. My T-shirts are getting tighter and tighter, which is all great because it's showing that the body's changing and adapting. And what I found was, before I did the Charles Parlequin uh, body comp program, I never, re I took, you know, anti-parasite supplements, fungal supplements, or chaga. Uh, I've always <laughs> taken fish oils, but not <laughs> to the higher amounts that he recommends. So I've really looked in depthly to the amounts that he wants you to take, and added it all up and make sure I'm doing it correctly to see how much uh, performance and strength improves and I can say 100% there's been, an, there's been a nice improvement. Uh, he wants you to eat according to the paleo diet which I'm really into the metabolic typing diet and I'm a protein type anyway so my body's really good on that but I do like having you know the packet of crisps or a bit of chocolate occasionally but now I want to quit it altogether so I've been coffee free for two years now so I'm pleased that I quit coffee. That was quite a hard thing to stop, even though I would stop drinking coffee at three o'clock. But I don't like anything to, for, to have me addicted to. Does that make sense? So I'm going to see over the next four weeks 
how much more volume, German volume training helps my body to increase in size and strength and then flip it around again and just see what happens. I mean, no pain whatsoever. I'm really, really enjoying it. And uh, the books that Charles has recommended, I've nearly bought all of them, I think. I bought about 11 books over the Christmas period and I've been reading through them and going through them. And the next thing that I want to do, because I've done Paul Check master practitioner that took me six or seven years to get uh, I now want to do all the parlequin stuff and I notice that a lot of the guys only do level one or level two L level one doesn't mean the highest level one means the beginner stage of the parlequin studying so that's what I'd like to do next is do parlequin I think it goes to level five and then you've got biosignature level one and level two and with the biosignature it's really teaching you how to use uh, supplements in which to harm, enhance, not harm, enhance strength, physique and stamina. And from what I can feel so far in the first four weeks, I really like it. I'm really thinking in a different way. Now I've done functional diagnostic nutrition in the States and I'm a metabolic type and advisor, advanced level two. And uh, you know, I've read about five books on different diets. And I'm a big fan of fasting. And now they're saying that the fasting will increase your growth hormone by 2,000%. Now, what I would like to do is do a fast, get a lab test done, and just to see if that is true or not. Because in this book, it states that, you know, at 50 years old, I've probably got about 5% of growth hormone. But they say if you're doing strength and conditioning training and you're eating well, it should be a lot higher than normal. So I will get my private doctor to test all this and then test it again in four or in two to three months time just to see where the levels are at, higher or lower. And uh, I just wanted to give you my personal journey. I'm a Czech practitioner, level four master, personal trainer with 22 years of experience. I'm now studying to become a naturopath as well. So if you want to book me or get some advices, please comment down below on the video. And I like answering the comments that people send me. I'm not one of these people that think I know it all, even though I've read 900 books and done 30 odd courses. It's really strange because I'll be in the gym chatting to somebody and there'll be a golden nugget that they'll share with me. And hopefully I'll share lots of golden nuggets with them in which to enhance their physiques and their strength and their endurance, whichever they're training for. But the other thing that I really agree with with Charles Parlequin is, is no cardiovascular training. So with the clients that I've worked with, golfers, tennis players, and people that are in their 80s and upwards, uh, I found that cardiovascular training is not needed because you know the energy systems are not independent, they all work together. So if you get somebody that's in their 60s and you get them to do a high pull on a 1-1-1 one, one, on one, one, one speed of movement and a, a, a 10 second or a minute rest period, their heart rate goes through the roof. And obviously, if you're that age, you've got to gain muscle in which to keep fat off the body. It's the only negative side, I don't think there is a negative side, sorry, of doing the parlequin work. I'm not even sore the next day, which is great. And I think it's because of the high doses of BCAAs. And I get many people go, BCAAs don't work. BCAAs are crap. BCAAs are overpriced. If you're in the gym and you want to get stronger, you want to get fitter, and it's not working, you need to try all these other avenues before you start bastardizing BCAAs. Now, admittedly, I will agree with some people that a lot of the BCAAs that you buy online on Amazon or in the shops, they're very, very low dose. So you're not going to get the performance enhancing benefits from it, or you're not going to get the... Uh, the right amount of BCAAs inside the body. Remembering that 60 to 80% of the guys and girls in the gym that are taking BCAAs, their guts are not healthy. So 60 to 80% of the body or the gut is not taking on board what they're putting inside the body. So if you're doing one scoop of BCAAs, which might be under one gram, you're wasting your time even taking that. Especially if your gut health is not balanced or it's not working in a way 
that it should do. And the thing with the Charles Parlequin system is that, and the Czech system, I do testing on your zinc levels. I do testing on your hydrochloric acid levels. Because if your hydrochloric acid is low, your body won't be utilising what you're putting in anyway. You'll just be pissing it all out. And the same as if your zinc levels are low, or say you're taking a zinc and it might be a crap zinc that doesn't really have zinc in it, it's just water. You're not going to know unless you do this certain test. Does that make sense? So I believe uh, what Paul Check says, always assess and never guess. So with the clients that I work with, I always do lab work if they can afford it and always do the other low tech testing that I can do to find out how the body is, where the body's at. And the thing that I like about the Charles Parlequin system is that I was a bit sceptical to start off with. I've only been doing it for four weeks. And because I've never taken huge amounts of BCAAs, huge amounts of fish oil, and high amounts of other vitamins and minerals that he recommends, I can see the huge benefit. And then with, if your body's not taking on 60 to 80% of what you're putting inside, can you see why uh, doing higher doses than what they say on the label is really important? And to point this, to prove a point, if you get 20,000 IUs from the sun when you sit in the sun in the summer of vitamin D, and then they tell you to only take a thousand IUs on the label, can you see where it's a complete waste of time? So I've got family members that are on vitamin D that they've been given from the doctor, but it's still too low. And uh, Macola says it can take up to one year for you to get to your peak levels of vitamin D. I'm very lucky I had mine tested. Mine's at 95 to 100% now, simply because I'm always keeping it at high levels. So really important, uh, <laughs> look at the German body comp training and look into Charles Parlequin and you'll find that the results that you were getting were absolutely phenomenal. And I don't know if there's another coach out there at the moment in the industry that's even as good as Paul or Charles Parlequin. But remember, Charles and Paul, both Canadian, both read a lot of books and both worked with lots and lots of people. But the difference is, is that Charles Parlequin went straight for elite athletes, getting elite athletes into shape, getting stronger, getting faster, getting leaner. And this is what I hope to do over time. But I don't want to work with poor athletes that haven't got no money, that, doesn't, that don't want to pay, and then they won't listen to when you're trying to coach them and trying to show them what they need to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please take a look at my 2,000 videos uh, on uh, a thousand videos, not 2,000 videos. Uh, my ego is getting a bit up there. So my thousand videos on uh, on YouTube and I've got a TikTok account now on Active Bright Systems where I post a lot of stuff as well. So if you're needing help or you just want to ask a question, please post below and I look forward to answering your question. Thanks very much. Happy New Year. Keep going and get going if you've not got going yet in the gym. Thank you. Bye.